What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, Dragon Ball Downforce. And today we're going to be working on this 2016 Ford Escape. And we're going to be changing out the wheel bearings. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, and for today, you're going to need these tools. Pliers, screwdriver, hammer, and a couple uh, socket wrenches. You're going to need an inch and a quarter. 15 millimeter, a half inch, and 11 millimeter. And I use this T47 star key. You're supposed to use a hex key. I don't have that size hex key, but that works. A couple of extensions, wrench and old trusty hammer. All right guys, we're gonna start by removing the tire and putting it under your car, just for safety. And then we're gonna remove the brake caliper and brake caliper bracket and the rotors. All right guys. All right guys, we're gonna start with our T47 start bit since we don't have the right hex key for this. I'm going to remove the caps, start loosening the brakes. This will be the same thing you would be doing if you were doing a brake change. Alright, now you're going to get your flathead screwdriver or your pry bar, whatever you have. We're going to take off the brake calipers. Oh, before we take off the brake calipers, you got to take off these pins. Alright, now that we have the retaining clip off in the front, let's start, let's get back to this. Before we take off the caliper, we'll take off the e-brake. That way it's easier to remove the whole caliper. Um, we're going to start by removing this spring. Well, the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to pull on it, pretty push on it, pull on it. Just try to get some of the tension off of the spring. I'm going to come off. Now we're going to use our screwdriver again. Pry this back. Wish I had something that would help me pry this a little bit easier. We're gonna pry on it. We're gonna struggle for a little bit, obviously, because that's not the proper way to do it. But that's the way we're gonna get it done. And yeah. Eventually. All right, finally. So what I did was grab me some pliers and a screwdriver. I came from behind and I pried on this. I pulled on the cable and got the cable off. Now we're gonna try to, we're gonna push this cable back out of the receiving, retaining hole. Now we can take off the brake caliper. Now we got the caliper off. With the caliper off, we're gonna move it off to the side. Now we're gonna remove our bracket. And our bracket is going to be a, it's a half inch socket. We're gonna take off this bolt and this bolt. All 
All right, now with the brake caliper and bracket removed, we can move on to this rotor. Now we want to remove the rotor. It's probably going to be stuck on there. Obviously, yeah, it's tough. You want to tap on it till you break it loose. All right. All right, next we're going to remove the axle nut. And that's going to be a inch and a quarter. All right, once you have that removed, we're almost there. <laughs> now we got to take these off. There's four uh, bolts. Only thing is, is that you have to get them through the back. And if you look, they are way in there. And you kind of have to take off your arm put your arm in there and then use your other arm to move it but I'm gonna show you how you could take this off without taking off your arm all right let's check it out all right this is the part where you gotta take off your arm but I'm gonna show you how not to take off your arm you know grab yourself a socket an extension and a socket wrench. You're gonna need an 11 millimeter 12 point because they wanted to put a 12 point on this and hopefully you can get it off. It's not that hard actually. It's just an awkward spot. You can't see it. You're gonna go in blind. You don't have much room so you can't really use a cheater bar. You can't use an impact wrench. Or well, maybe an impact wrench, but not an impact gun. All right, now that I got these back ones off, we're gonna move to these front ones. But to get to these front ones, we have to remove this upper control arm that I had up, that I already removed because I was struggling with the with it. So I took those off, and that comes off with a 15 millimeter. I don't know if it's gonna focus on there. That comes off with a 15 millimeter. That allows you to drop down your whole spindle and axle, and it gives you better access to these back bolts. Now let's get on those back bolts. Alright, now that we got those off, we can start by taking off the whole spindle now. Alright guys, let's, let's move to that. Alright guys, now that we have the all the bolts off that are holding the wheel assembly on, the wheel hub assembly. We're gonna take it out. But before we start, we're gonna hit it with the hammer to loosen it up. Alright guys, we got it out. You can tell this one's really rusty. You could also tell by, by all the corrosion on, on these other components. Alright, let's go get the other hub. Here's our new one. CarQuest part.
And we'll get a little bit of WD-40. A wire brush. We'll get a little bit of grease on there. Not too much because that stuff makes a big freaking mess. Big mess. We'll get some grease on the bearing. I guess since I couldn't smear it over there. Put the hub back in. Oh, before you put the hub back in, don't forget to put your brake dust cover. All right, guys, and that is how you change a rear wheel hub assembly on a 2016 Ford Escape. Titanium, all-wheel drive, EcoBoost. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed.